YouTube, Alan back with another gameplay and this is a very belated request for Wayak on the Sega 8 bit forums. Let's cancel off Illusions on Illusions? Hmm. Uh, Illusion on the Sega Master System, starring Mickey Mouse. Press start. So I played this on the Mega Drive, and similarly there's a practice in normal mode. We'll do normal, but practice is basically a seriously cut down version just to kind of give you a taste of the game mechanics. There's an old geezer. You must find three gems that will make Miserable see beauty in herself, but be careful! The gems are protected by the Master as of illusion. Thankfully, they're not protected by the Masters of Combat. So, yeah, I've done the Mega Drive game before. Turn this down a little. And it's a cracking title. So, I take it, I just press up to get in here. Level 1. Typical forest level. But as good as the Mega Drive version is, I actually think the Mass System is a better game. Mass System version. So, controls. Press 2 to jump. And press when you're when you jump, press one to do a butt stop. I think you can pick these up somehow. How do you do that? I could have sworn you could. Oh yeah, you press button one. There we go. Defeat the evil trees. I don't get hit by. So. I mean, the Mega Drive version is considered an all-time classic. I've started practice mode, haven't I? <laughs> I was thinking, three gems, that seems quite easy. Yeah, this is the practice mode. So, uh, this is why it's, it's very, very straightforward. And I'm going to go and kick that up to normal. Reset time. Oh, oh geez, now everyone's falling around. Anyway, once upon a mouse, this is twice upon a mouse, I guess. Start. Normal. I could have sworn I said normal. Seven gems, that's better. They will give you the power to overcome Miserable, but be careful, the gems are protected. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> now let's do this for real! But, yeah, the Mega Drive 1, classic. Uh, great graphics and sound, uh, you know, good gameplay, and it really kind of showed off what the Mega Drive was capable of early in its lifespan. Um, but the Master System version can easily hold its own. Oh, there's no uh, treasure chest there. Oh. And if anything, I feel that the, the gameplay itself is uh, much more fluid. Oh, you... I think you're meant to bounce on. Oh, I was it up in the eye. Let's go down here. It just feels tight and, uh, you know, really responsive. And the Mega Drive 1 at times can feel a little more sluggish. Ooh. Damn spiders! I think I gotta carry this. There we go. I gotcha. So, cake and whatnot restores your health, and this is looking... Oh, okay. Maybe I should not get those straight away. And money is just score. Money, 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 money. You know what? I really shouldn't probably be destroying all those. But, um... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, even, even though the graphics and, and whatnot on the Mass System version aren't as good as the Mega Drive counterpart, which is to be expected, after all, I think... In some ways, they have a more interesting visual appeal. I, I like the vibrant, bright, bright colors. And um, one thing about the Ma Ma Mega Drive version is that it, it, the color palette's quite muted. Uh, very much for a Disney game, you expect it to be colorful and and whatnot. I'm in a terrible <laughs> run at this game. This is actually not that tricky a game. Not tricky at all. Um, it, well, the last level is, is a little tricky, I suppose, but it's it's generally a fairly handy to go through game. I guess uh, for some people that could be its its flaw. It's that there's seven levels, and none of them are particularly you know challenging, and you could blow through it fairly quickly if you're an experienced gamer. 
but it's a very cheap game. Like, it's one of the most common on the system. And when it's going to be cheap and enjoyable, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter that it's not that long. Oh, I think I'm going to go down here. I was thinking, where's the end of the level? <laughs> ah, yes. Over this way. Ah. So. I decided to forgo that one coin to see if there was anything over here. Seems my uh, decision paid off. Because I got two coins! Two coins of score that mean nothing. So there's also a fair bit to um, the levels, you know, it does pay to kind of try and explore around a bit. Oh, oh, tricky. Oh, someone's telling me I'm going the wrong way. It feels like I should be coming from that side, not going, but anyway. Or maybe it's just that it seems odd to, to scroll to the left instead of to the right. Oh, damn, should have seen that coming. You can at this, you start off the game with three power stars, but you you do find two more throughout the game, so you can get a maximum of five. Okay, this looks more like it. You kind of also would think that the level would be over by now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Must be all this greenery, you know. It's uh, acting up my hay fever. That's how good this game is, you know? Oh, that was health, that uh, bloody apple. Ah, damn. Oh, no. Those platforms are a hell of a lot more difficult to jump onto than, than it might appear because you have to butt bounce and that causes you to basically fly back up in the air again. I guess I really should be throwing um, a brick at this guy. Throw a brick at a caterpillar. I was hoping to at least see level two. Having said that, my playthroughs or gameplays often don't go that far, so I guess it's power for the course. Ooh, ooh. Should have gone there. And ultimately, I think what makes this game really stand out is that at the time, you know, the Mega Drive one was was an example of of oh crap, I should be nubbing on his head of what you could do with sixteen bit, you know, gaming. But here's the Mass System version, easily able to kind of hold its own, and the same with um, Sonic on the Mass System. Oh, oh crap. You know, Sonic 1 on the Master System was certainly a very good attempt at bringing Sonic to the to a, a lower spec machine, and in my opinion, it's the better game. Damn, I'm really struggling with this boss. In fact, he's actually fairly straightforward. Oh, he's gonna so kill me again. This is not right. Oh dear, oh dear. This is this is terrible. I'm gonna blame it on my, my hay fever. Which you'd be thinking, hay fever this time of year, that seems odd. There we go, that's the Oh oh Jesus Christ in it. Seems it's better to just jump on them and forget about avoiding the leafy things. Oh, surely three hits, that's him gone, is it? No! Damn. Ah, four? You were throwing me off there, mate. So that's the first gem. We'll take a quick look at level two, because at this rate it'll take me about 20 minutes to clear level two. Good lord. Get a bit more score, because you know, all old games have to have score. So this is Toyland, and of course there was a Toyland in the, in the Mega Drive one as well, but this one's much more colourful, I find. And a good rendition of the music. Another thing that the Master System is often uh, criticised for is, is its poor audio capability, but this isn't bad at all. Toot toot! 
Oh wait, something, yeah. I think I actually do have to use a train. Oh, what's telling me to bring this, but let's go with it. Oh, you bloody git. There we go. So they do actually add a few so simple-ish, you know, puzzles into the into the game too. So it's not a straight, you know, run and jump game, which is nice. It varies the action up a bit. Oh, I suspect I probably have to, yeah, press the thing or leave the thing on the switch. And of course, this came out in 1991, um, and this was, I guess, you could say. Oh dear, we're dead. We'll leave it there then. But yeah, when it came out in 1991, along with Sonic, as I was saying, it kind of it showed how the Master System could st and still had a purpose in the market and was still able to hold its own. So it definitely, I guess, it's a pivotal game in that respect. Oh Jesus, Mickey! Poor Mickey. Leave him there, get him knocked off by bubbles. But anyway, I seem to be just all over the place, so we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed, this, despite my terrible, terrible skills at, at, a, at a simple Disney title. Um, this look at Castle of Illusions on the Sega Master System. Um, great game, I highly recommend it. You know, even if you just want to... You know, this is definitely one that I think everyone should try out. If you like the Mega Drive one, you will surely like this too.